Hi friends, uh, welcome to my channel. Today we will see how to configure uh, explicit web proxy on 40 gate firewall. Before starting, let me just tell you what are the interface configuration. Okay. So, if you see here, my port one is uh, the WAN interface, which is connected to the ISP router. Port 2 is my LAN interface and all my clients will get connected to this particular interface. Okay, so first of all, in order to configure proxy on firewall, you have to change the mode from flow based to proxy based. So if you go here in the settings, you will have the option of inspection mode you can change it to proxy let me just show you from cli Okay, this is my CLI. So go to the setting, set inspection mode to proxy, change it. Okay, so if you see here, the inspection mode will change. Okay, now So you have to enable uh, the explicit proxy. By default, it will enable uh, IPv4. For IPv6, well, you have to enable it this way. I'm going to put it as 8080. I'm going to use the same port for HTTP, HTTPS. All right, this is done. Now, you have to go to system, feature visibility, and then you have to enable explicit proxy. Where is it? Okay, it's enabled here. You see here? So you can see the option here. It will not come unless and until you change the feature visibility. You enable, you should enable this particular feature here. In the feature visibility, then only you'll be able to see this option under network. And in the policy again, you will see proxy policy. I'll explain you why you need a proxy policy. First of all, let us go to the explicit policy and then my firewall is listening on to port 2 on port 8080 and the interface IP 192.168.25.5 I'm going to use the same port as HTTP and by default it is going to deny all the traffic Here in policy, I just have a normal policy, internet policy from port 2 to port 1, which is going to allow the traffic from port 2 towards port 1 for internet access. And then you have to enable the explicit proxy under the interface so my interface is port 2 
Okay, so now I've enabled the web proxy on this interface. So this interface is going to listen on 192.168.225.5 on port 8080. Let's go to options settings and then let's try to change the proxy setting here. And it is going to affect the traffic that will be initiated from this particular browser. If you see here, I have set it to 192.168.225.5 on port 8080. Okay, so whatever traffic is initiated from this browser will be redirected to 192.168.225.5 on port 8080. So the reason why you are able to see this is because I have not configured any proxy policy. So while configuring this explicit web proxy, you have to configure a proxy policy on firewall. If you see here, I have a normal policy which says uh, allow traffic from port 2 to port 1 source all destination all okay on top of this i need one more policy to allow the traffic the proxy traffic so the outgoing interface will be port 1 source interface is going to be source addresses are going to be all this is just a test destination all service web proxy which contains a tcp from 0 to 65535 since it's, it is a HTTP, https okay so now i have a policy Now let's get back to our client machine. So you can see I'm able to browse let's take a Wireshark capture and see what's going on. Okay. If you see here, 192.168.2.5.4 is my client's IP. Okay. You can see here. And 192.168.225.5 is my firewall's uh, IP. 
and the firewall is listening on 192.168.225.5 on port 8080 so whatever traffic you initiate from that browser google chrome will always be redirected to 192.168.225.5 on port 8080 so if you open the packet um, let us open up So you can see here whatever traffic you initiate from that browser will be diverted to 192.168.225.5 and this is specific to the browser Google Chrome if you go to Mozilla and if you try to If you see here, this particular browser, Mozilla Firefox, is not forwarding the traffic to 8080. Instead, it is uh, sending the traffic normally to the firewalls interface, which is 192.168.225.5, and it is hitting. Instead of this policy, when you initiate the traffic from Mozilla Firefox, it is going to hit this particular policy, which is the normal firewall policy. The reason why is simply because you don't have the proxy configured on Mozilla Firefox. So if you disable this, this particular uh, policy, it is only going to affect the traffic which is initiated from the Chrome, not from the Mozilla Firefox. And the same thing if you go to here or whatever browser you want to whatever website you want to reach let's say youtube.com so I'm able to reach the youtube.com let's try from the Chrome I'm not able to reach you see this is the difference Alright guys, thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, hit like and please do subscribe to my channel so that you can get the updates whenever I post any video. Thank you.